Hey guys, it's Drew again. Well, this is my 100th video here on YouTube, and I wanted to do a video response contest where you can win an actual 1956 Topps card featuring Jackie Robinson. Let's check it out. So like I mentioned, this is my 100th video, and I wanted to do a video response. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all the newcomers. I've gained almost 100 subscribers in the last two weeks since I did my room tour video. For, so for all you guys who are kind of new, welcome in, and I just appreciate you taking your time, giving me a sub, checking out my stories, and let's just get to know each other over baseball cards. So let me get the elephant out of the room right away. Uh, like I mentioned in my intro, I'm going to be giving away a 1956 Topps card uh, as, a, as a contest prize for this video uh, with Jackie Robinson on it, but it is not going to be his uh, 1956 Topps uh, base card. Um, what it's going to be is actually the team card, and I want to talk about that and why I feel that's a great gift uh, for what this contest is going to be. But we're going to talk about Jackie Robinson. So Jackie Robinson, as you know, played for the Brooklyn Dodgers from 1947 through 1956. And... Um, he was the first player to break the color barrier, and you, you know the stories, you know all this stuff, you know his legendary status, first rookie of the year when they first had it, the first African American to ever become an MVP, uh, won a World Series finally for the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1955, and in 1956, um, actually I didn't know this until I was researching for the video, but actually his very last at bat was in the 1956 World Series, Game 7 against the New York Yankees, and he actually struck out in Game 7 to end the game. So Jackie Robinson's last at bat in the Major Leagues was to strike out ending a World Series. Um, I didn't know that, so I thought that was kind of interesting. But here's one thing I don't know if you did know. Um, after that game, he was actually traded. Um, he was traded to the hated rival New York Giants by the Brooklyn Dodgers. And uh, it, the trade never went through, obviously, because Jackie Robinson retired. But the reason they made that trade was because Jackie Robinson had already sold his exclusive rights to Look Magazine about his retirement story two years earlier. So when he ever did retire, they were the ones that could announce it. So he didn't tell the Dodgers right away. They actually found out through a magazine, which I can't even imagine if that's what the way it would work today. But that's the story. So the trade never happened, so he only played for one team. I want to talk about uh, his teammate, Pee Wee Reese. Now, anybody who's been watching my channel for a while knows I love Pee Wee Reese and I love his story. I've got tons of his stuff. And what I've done is I've, I've lined up some of the magazines that I have with both Pee Wee Reese as well as Jackie Robinson up behind me. So this one up here, that's uh, a great picture, close up of Pee Wee Reese. And then the two in the middle show uh, Robinson and Reese together. This one shows Robinson jumping over Reese. It's kind of down here on the bottom, uh, doing a double play. And then another uh, one with just Jackie Robinson on the front. But, you know, their their story is intertwined together. Their story is intertwined because um, Reese was one of the first that really accepted him as a teammate. Uh, didn't worry about his color of his skin. Didn't worry about his background. Didn't worry about any of that. It was just, hey, if he's here to to help us win, let's win. And that, to me, um, helped Pee Wee Reese just become elevated to become um, just the leader that the, the Dodgers needed. And, and they ended up becoming friends and just and played together for the rest of uh, Robinson's career, all of Robinson's career, and a majority of Pee Wee Reese's career. And um, so I wanted to show off a couple of cards, and I want to talk about why that fifth is part. So I've already showed off the 1956 um, Jackie Robinson and I just love this set you guys know I love the 56 set and and it's just got a great picture of, of Robinson sliding in and um, it's just fantastic so as a side piece I also want to show off the Pee Wee Reese from that set which is another great action set of him jumping over and and um, you know turning a double play um, what I want you guys to do is if you want to enter uh, what you're gonna do is I want you to make a video and I want you to talk about a franchise player. Now, both Reese and Robinson only played for the Brooklyn Dodgers. And, uh, of course, Robinson retired before the trade went through, so he never played for the Giants. But um, both of them were franchise players, and that's very... Um, it's very rare nowadays that a player would take, play his entire career but uh, with one team, but that's what they both did. I want to talk about guys that played for just one team, guys that were teammates, guys that, that uh, were, were franchise players. So take 
I don't know, three, five cards of, of different players, if you want, or your favorite player that only played for one franchise their entire Major League career and show them off and talk about why those guys are important to you. Uh, whether it's their favorite player of yours, played for your favorite team, and I don't care about their length of career. If they were a guy that just worked their butts off and they finally made the show and they only played for one week and that's why they're a franchise player, tell that story and let's hear about it. Um, if they're a guy that played their entire 20-something year career like Cal Ripken Jr. for one team, then tell that story about it. I don't care. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give away the 1956 Tops Brooklyn Dodgers team card. Now, I have an extra one of these, and I just think this is cool because if you look at this, um, you know, team cards, are, this 56 was the first year that Tops put them out. But this is a great picture, and, and the reason I think this is cool is if you look up in the top corner right there, you can actually see his number 42 on his jersey, and he's standing right there. And I thought... I'm going to give this away. Now, you know, if you, um, you know, Jackie Robinson cards have gotten crazy expensive and, and for rightfully so, you know, he's up in that level of, of cost and it's hard for some guys to get it, but you can actually own a 56 Jackie Robinson card and this is an actual one. And, uh, and I thought it'd be fun to kind of give this away. So here's what I want you to do. Make a video. It's only a video response. Uh, showing off three to five, shoot, show more if you want. Players that only played for one team. If you want to make uh, a bunch of cards of one guy, that's fine. If you want to make uh, cards of different guys, that's fine. But guys, and then tell why you think it's it was great that they only played for one team. And uh, I want you to post a video, and I want you to put the hashtag that I list below in this um, on this title. And and I want you to. Uh, post that video and then come back if you can and, re and respond it in the comments in this in in this um, video that you're watching now. And so the deadline for this video will be midnight Eastern Standard Time on October 29th. It gives you just over a month to make a video. Post the video um, and put that hashtag in. It's easier for me to find it. If you can, come back and comment in this video that you did it. And I'll just do the little wheel spinning thing and give this away. It'll only be open to the uh, continental United States. It just makes it easier uh, for shipping and stuff. But I want to see other franchise players that you guys have in your collection. So get those videos in there. Check them. Uh, let me check them out. Let's share it with the community. And for all you guys who just joined us thanks for coming in and i really appreciate it and until next time you guys be good